Hello and welcome to this Inkscape tutorial for Revit and SketchUp. We're going to look at what it takes to get your project beautifully rendered in Inkscape using uh, these interfaces. We're going to go through elements uh, one by one, breaking from the interface to the program. And so Inkscape uh, gives you a um, trial that you can download. And when you install it, you'll see a Inkscape bar uh, essentially on the ribbon and you'll have different options for loading your Inkscape models. Right now I've actually loaded the Inkscape. We'll go into that in a moment. But you can essentially choose a view. You can choose if you'll render your image into the document, if you'll add assets. For instance, you see all these little polygon trees. Um, that comes with Inkscape and you just uh, load it up. It takes maybe some time to load. Um, you just can take an item that you have from that library and place it onto your model. Just let it load up a little bit. As you can see, we can just place some things. Sometimes they're small. Um, and sometimes you can place things that are big. Like you see, there's, there's furniture, there's lighting, there are people, um, for instance, um, several different types of people. And you can just search. You could also make custom ones. Um, but uh, you know the library that exists is already so useful. For instance, uh, for, for the people, I just click on that one person. I could just go to the area I want to place him. And he's, he's going to be my model. And we'll see that in just a little bit. And so that's how you're going to be adding people. Um, and then you can also work on the materials within Inkscape. Um, you essentially can take in the material that's in Revit, and you can add a unique set of albedo. For instance, um, if you're going to show um, bump maps, you can add that here. Also choose how it's going to deal um, reflectively or with transparencies. Um, you can also upload. Um, this is for working with exporting web models or also ex you know um, executables. So this is what you can have people give a link to your model. And also here you can actually add sound to your model. Uh, you can also set up the general settings for how your project will work with your licensing. You can have preferences for what to show. In the next video, we'll go into the Enscape interface and render the model live. 